Now, Vietnam was elected a vice president of the 42nd section of the UNESCO General Conference representing the Asia Pacific on November the 8th local time. Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs Ha Kim Ngoc, who is also chairman of the Vietnam National Commission for UNESCO, said the election affirms the party and state's sound foreign policy of multilateralization and diversification, as, as well as comprehensive and effective international integration. In this position, Vietnam will have more chances to make positive and practical contributions to the international issues before UNESCO, step up UNESCO's programs and orientations across the five areas of education, culture, natural science, social science, and information and communications, and capitalize on UNESCO's initiatives to develop the nation in a sustainable and comprehensive fashion. Now, Vietnamese cuisine has been highly appreciated by experts and international media for many years, including many dishes on the list of world's best dishes. This can be seen as one of Vietnamese strengths that needs to be promoted and developed into a national brand. At the end of 2022, the World Cuisine Awards part of the World Travel Award system honored Vietnam as Asia's best culinary destination 2022, surpassing other names in the region such as China, Malaysia, Singapore, Korea and Thailand. Besides, famous magazines and culinary travel sites also praise Vietnamese cuisine. Most recently, in early 2023, the American Travel and Leisure website honored Vietnam as Asia leading culinary destination in the 2023 travel itinerary. According to many international media platforms, if there's one cultural cuisine that burst with umami goodness, it's Vietnamese cuisine. The country, apart from its beautiful landscapes, is known for its food. Everywhere you go, you'll be met with local, regional delicacies that will bow you over as you soak in new, exciting experiences and visit stunning destinations. Last October, a food map was made with 126 dishes from across the country. The first food map of Vietnam made from typical dishes of all the 63 provinces and cities contribute to honoring the country's culinary culture being honored and highly appreciated by organizations, media and international experts shows that Vietnamese cuisine is steadily asserting its brand. Vietnamese cuisine has various dishes that have become symbols, attracting tourists to try, such as pho, bánh mì, egg coffee and spring rolls. Although the brand has been positioned in several dishes, according to experts, Vietnamese cuisine still has a modest position on the world's culinary map and has not yet promoted its full potential. Now, from November the 9th, residents in Vientiane capital city and foreign tourists to Laos can easily book an electric taxi of green and smart mobility, a Vietnamese ride-hailing company, through the Sang SM Laos application on the App Store and Play Store, or also rent an electric car directly on the road. It is the first foreign market in the company's Go Green Global strategy with a roadmap to become an international electric vehicle service provider and to popularize the green mobility trend to the world. Speaking at a ceremony to launch the service, which was attended by Deputy Prime Minister and Defense Minister of Laos, General Ville La Khafong, CEO of Green and Smart Mobility Nguyen Van Thang Express, his hope that Sun SM Taxi will create a revolution in mobility in Laos. I know Fab Tunalom, secretary of the party committee and chairman of the People Council of Vientiane, said that the trend of using electric vehicles is increasing in Laos, especially in big cities like Vientiane. Now, Vietnam on November the 8th opened its 400 square meter national pavilion at the 39th Havana International Fair, the largest annual event of its kind in Cuba and the Caribbean region. 
The fair lasts from November the 6th to 13th with the participation of over 800 businesses from 60 countries and territories worldwide. Representatives of 16 Vietnamese firms are present at the fair with more than 50 others sending their products for display. The Vietnamese space is showcasing agricultural products, processed food, household items, construction materials, interior and exterior decoration, vaccine and biological products. Cuban Minister of Transport Davila expressed his gratitude for, to Vietnam for maintaining a strong relationship and cooperation with the Caribbean nation for over the past six decades. Now, the 8th International Workshop on Nanotechnology and Application is taking place in Phan Thiết City, the South Central Province of Bình Thuận, from the 9th to 11th this month, with around 300 delegates from 20 countries taking part. The International Workshop on Nanotechnology and Application 2023 will enhance cooperation in scientific research, human resource training, and transfer of nanotechnology, contributing to sustainably improving the quality of local signature products in combination with environment protection, fostering the development of startups and innovative initiatives. Co-hosted by the Vietnam National University, Ho Chi Minh City, the Institute for Nanotechnology, the Cialetti Minatic of France, and the Provincial People's Committee, the event is scheduled to hear the presentation of about 200 to 250 scientific papers covering key issues in the field of nanotechnology, 